Welcome guys to the fourth installment of Rexham Rise of the Red Dragons. Uh, we are halfway through the season, almost halfway through the season. We are currently sitting in first place. We played 22, won 14, drawn 5, lost 3, 24 goal difference. Um, the highest in the league so far goal difference. We got 47 points. So we're exactly three points off second place, which is it's not bad, but it's a little bit of a cushion. <coughs> um, I've done no transfers or anything since the last time we were out together. And um, show you my schedule so far. Let's only go into our competition. As you can see here, our next two games is Maidenhead and Macat. Macclesfield. If you remember in the first two games of the season was Macclesfield and Maidenhead. We drew 0-0 to Macclesfield and beat Maidenhead 4-1. So let's hope we can do better and get both wins this time around. And um, I've got a FA Cup to play right now against Cheltenham. So I'm going to run through that game quickly. Then we're going to hit the two Pre uh, pre two season games from the second round, starting of the second round and uh, beginning of December games and then hopefully we'll get some wins on that, eh? Right guys, we beat Cheltenham 3-2. Um, I put in a second string side, so I was quite shocked about that when we won. But uh, it wasn't too bad. As you can see, it's not the normal squad. So, yeah. It's quite surprising but uh, let's move on for today's game and uh, this is basically the game here a preview we are the current favorites and we've been in excellent form uh, Maidenhead not so good Maidenhead is currently sitting in 20th place in the league as uh, the 20th 22nd 22nd place in the league so I'm not going to say it's going to be an easy game because it's the ball is round, anything can happen. And uh, team selection, I don't think I've done anything major different except maybe Bowden. Bowden's come back from injury, so he's back in the squad. Uh, Worley is out on so injury, so I've brought in Smith, Manny Smith, for to replace Worley. Um, but otherwise, that's pretty much the, the, the squad selection. Uh, no, no big changes. So um, I've kept uh, Neil Freeman on reserve because I want him to 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 get his stats up, his stats up a little bit. So yeah, because he's 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 a promising striker. So hopefully we can get some good stuff out of him. And as you can see, I've downloaded a instant result for friendlies and that when I play friendlies just for cash games because uh, it just they just take so much time but yeah let's get going with this match like I said uh, nothing special team is exactly the same um, I don't know about their team if they've changed anybody I'm not too sure but let's go into dressing room let's tell them to you. We've been on a good run lately, so let's keep it going. Defensive field, tell them that we have faith. Midfield as well. We have faith. And the attacking forwards. We have faith. Let's make sure I put everything back to how it used to be before. Later. Alright, everything's right. Game speed, slightly faster, and uh, let's go to kickoff. It's just some things that I have on when I'm playing. So it was their kickoff. Maidenhead still has the ball. Uh, it's ended that highlight. Very short lived highlight. Maidenhead's got it. It's crossed up to Wing of Jennings, our left flank. And it's crossed back down to the right flank. 
Chatty. Chatty has a ball. Can he cross it in? Smith blocks it. Perrington Bowers. All the way. All the way has been outstanding so far this season. And as I say that he passes the ball away. Gia has got the ball now. He passes to Burrows. Burrows up to Griffiths. What's Griffiths going to do? He's going to cross it. And Holroyd, as I was saying, that Holroyd puts a beautiful one in the back of the net. That was a great call by Holroyd. <coughs> Redeemed himself for that intercepted pass. Guys, while this is going on, um, I am busy doing a, a second save with uh, Watford. And um, there's a group of us have decided to, to challenge ourselves to see who can, in 10 seasons, who can do, who can do the best with Watford. Um, I will be posting short videos online just with stats and updates and that, but I won't be posting games and that. Okay. And I hope you guys would follow that one as well. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. And we got it again. Oh, nearly another goal. And again, Miss Arnie puts it in. Griffiths, what a freaking... Wow, that was just... Yes, out of it. I don't think the goalie even knew what was going on there. <coughs> Wade very crosses to Gia. Gia. Passes to Carrington. Carrington puts a long cross in. Griffiths tries to hit it and was saved by the goalie. Griffiths bounces back on the ball. Comes off the bar and then he puts it back in. That was a bit of luck that bounced on his feet. Two up against Maidenhead. Last time out we beat Maidenhead 4-2. So let's see what we can do this time round. It's time to concentrate. We have the ball again. Don't know what that is for now. Update of some sort. Anyway. Skip that highlight. Don't know why that came up. And yes, guys, this is the first video of the full launch um, of uh, FM18. And um, nothing really changed from beta except uh, accessibility for um, some things like creating your own squads. And I'm sure most of you know what it is. So there's no point going into details on what they are. Um, but let's get back to the game. Barrows, Carrington's got it. Carrington's going to cross. And penalty. Is that a penalty? Yes, that's a penalty. We have won a penalty. Okay. Barrows to take the penalty. What's going to happen? And he scores. That's three. Yes. That's three. It's perfect. I have my doubts in sometimes with penalties because we've missed a few. We surely have missed our fair share. Boris puts it high left, high right corner and shakes the back of the net. Team is starting to get complacent, which is not a good thing. Bad stuff can happen. Maidenhead have it, they cross it, Hyde's got it. Hyde still got it, he crossed it Chate, as I was saying. Curse of the commentator. They pull one back. It's 3 1. Yes, guys, as soon as your players start getting complacent, that's when shit hits a fan and you concede a goal, maybe sometimes even two goals. And that was a poor sliding tackle and a good shot by Chatting. But let's hope they've woken up a bit. As you can see, they have woken up a little bit. So they're no longer complacent. But that's not a good thing for us. So we're going to give them a stern, stern talking to. We've had seven shots. They've had one, four on target. They've got one on target. 12 fouls, 10 fouls. 57% position. That's not too bad. On our side, um, struggling for position in the opposition's half. That's not good. Lots of, lost a lot of possession in central areas. We struggled there a little bit with the sense of it. That's not too bad. We still getting through with the games. Uh, happy with how things are going so far. It's in the talk and it starts second half. And the um, It's 
see the long break now. Come on, show us something. That's better. Just wrong highlight. I was hoping it was our highlight. And we still it. Oh, what a save. Nice save done. Come guys, let's get this ball away. And the rain is starting to come down quite heavy now. And the ball is cleared back up to the corner. Comets Barrows intercepts it. And it goes up for three. Let's encourage them. And uh, for the game, really, let's go into tactics. For those of you that don't like this tactic here, you've got this as well for your reserves. But then again, if you click on tactics here, you go into the old view, which is a lot better. And a lot of people prefer this. But uh, yeah, and not many people knew about it. I didn't even know about it until someone on my group, my FM group, told me about it. And it was pretty cool. So I was quite happy about that. Scott Bowden is not doing too good. He's on a 6.5. So I think I'm going to take Scott Bowden out and put Wake uh, Liam in. I'm going to take Wakefield, give him a run, put, take him, put Carrington on the bench. Carrington has not been playing too bad. I mean, that's why he's been starting most of the games, even though Wakefield is a better player. But uh, I would rather keep him in because of his rating speed. But let's see how things go from him. Confirm subs and play. Let's give him another push forward. And nothing's happened. Nothing whatsoever. Nothing, nothing. And let's go into subs and let's put in Rutherford and we're gonna take Griffiths. Let's try to take the weight off the way this not doing too great. Give Rutherford four minutes. And Rutherford's on the ball first time. Freeman passes up. It's a long pass to Griffiths. Is he offside? He's clean. It shoots. Ah, oh, what a save. Dealer saves that ball nicely. Yes, we deserved the goal there. That was spectacular play. Nice corner there. Wade Gree's got it. Rutherford. Oh, and he tries to go for a weird shot. Don't know what that was. Head off the line. 89th minute, 3 minutes at a time. And uh, this should be final whistle now. Highlight for final whistle. Borrows Griffiths, what's going to happen? And there's the final whistle. We win the game. Comfortably, 3-1. Not as great as the last one, but it's better. Let's go to pressing room. Passionate. Very nice win today. Well done, boys. And we have got an FA Trophy game. But I'm not going to show you the FA Trophy. I'm going to just bring you the league game. So the next game will be against Macclesfield. They're in 11th place. And uh, the last time round, they drew, we drew with Macclesfield 1-0-0. Zero, zero. So let's hopefully this time round we can give them a good run and beat them. Quality of possession, we win a 3-1, it's not too bad. Brandon Griffiths, only a 19-year-old and he's doing really well for himself. 20-year-old, <coughs> he's doing pretty well. Not the best of stats, but for this league it's not that bad. Um, he does come in as a poacher, but I'm playing him as an inside forward. So he is, uh, he's got some poor stats there, 7 on long shots, but I'm not too worried about long shots. His vision is not the best, but he seems to be doing really well in this league, so... Happy days for that. Right, guys. Uh, next game, Macclesfield. Uh, we played Ashton United in the FA Trophy first round, and we won 4-1. Again, um, I used the cup team for it, and they did pretty well. Not not, not too bad. A surprise on that one. So that's good for them. And uh, they're going to start contending for first team places. Um, let's go to match preview. Again, we're the favourites here. Uh, excellent form. Their form is inconsistent. Um, Macclesfield, we drew 0-0 first game of the season. So let's hope we can get a win on them this time. And we are now six points ahead in the 
on the log, which is a great thing for us. Team selection. Um, I've taken Bowden out. He didn't do so well in the previous game. I'm putting Young Youngs in, um, and then I put Drake Grant onto the bench. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Drake Grant on the bench. Drake Grant has replaced uh, Neil Freeman. Scott Bowden is out here because he didn't do so well in the previous game. That's what happens if you don't do well in the game, you get dropped. So let's get on with the match and see how these guys do. Because I need the best possible team to be able to play through each every, every single game. We've been on good form lately, let's keep it up. Defense, passionate, our faith, midfield, passionate, our faith, attack, passionate, our faith. We've got green thumbs across the board, this is not too bad. I'll kick off Young's Barrows, Drea, Wade, Wadebury, Barrows, end of the highlight. It's a bit sad again. Yeah. I'll throw in there, Drea, Barrows, back to Smith, and we lose it. Whitehead has got the ball. It's going on a counter attack where they go for a shot and they score. Goalkeeper is all out of that. It's a problem with SI, they have not fixed the goalkeepers in any of their games. Their goalkeepers have been absolutely horrendous in every single game I've ever played. Every FM game. And uh, they said they've improved them this year, but I don't see any improvement. Why would a goalie stand in the middle of nowhere when you can see the ball being crossed like that? That's it's just the strangest thing ever. Encourage the team. Are we going to pull one back? Let's hopefully get that one back. Youngs, Arrows, Pearson, Gia. Gia takes it up. Carrington. Carrington going to cross it in. And he crosses straight at O'Brien. That's poor crossing. Uh, again, our midfield is not coping so well, but that's normal for this tactic. I knew that was going to happen. It's fine. Burrows has got the ball. Jennings. Jennings crosses. Oh, and Griffiths. Oh, cleared off. Carrington takes a shot. What a stupid shot by Carrington. Jennings has got it again. And crosses and to no avail. Come on, guys. Concentrate. Uh, this game is still very buggy at the moment, so um, can't wait for them to fix all these bugs and that. I'm not impressed at all. Come on lads, show a bit of desire. Defense. I'm not happy with your defensive work. Uh, midfield, same thing. I'm not happy with your efforts up there. And uh, attacking. Um, I'm not happy with the finishing. And um, I've got an injury in Drea, so we're going to go to tactics. We're going to put Ray Grant in Drea's place. And hopefully he can get the team alive and get us going. Macclesfield kick off. On the tech, they've just received the yellow card, which is good for us. But come to no avail, there's not even a highlight for it. Courage, come on, guys. Come on, we can't lose this game. How can you lose this game? Tactics screen, let's see. Who's not playing so great? Ish. Everyone in the front is playing terrible. Griffiths out, um, let's undo that. Okay, let's see, I think I'll leave that like that. Um, and then, 
the wood rate yeah and take I imagine that's that space like that it's way filled in. Give team talks passionate they have faith in them. Confirm team talks. Push forward. I have a feeling we're gonna lose this game. Ah, uh, doubt we're gonna get anywhere. We've done absolutely nothing. Seven shots, zero on target is pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. Nuthford has it, he clears it in. Oh, off the bar. And it's uh, fucked it up again. Nacklesfield are playing superb. As, yeah, intercepted again. Whitehead, their goal scorer. Goal scorer, sorry. Assist, assist, assist at the goal. Yeah, this game's wasted time game. Sorry about that, guys. It brought you one of the shitty games. Um, dressing room. I can confirm. Griffiths is going to get subbed, he's going to be out, oh, he's going to get fined, and Grant is, came in off the bench, so I can't really do much to him. Tom Youngs is going to be on the get subbed as well. Let's tell them aggressively, not happy. Not happy at all. But at least it still keeps us at top by six points. So Chan Marie obviously lost their game as well. But it's still I hate losing. I absolutely hate it. I'm so so competitive I can't stand it. I frip and hate losing. But it's just yeah, it's a way cookie crumbles, I suppose. But guys, thank you very much um for watching. I'm gonna leave it there. Uh to show you the schedule for the league, not to worry about any of the other competitions there's still a number of games to go um, I'll see maybe I'll bring you Halifax and Sutton as well bring you those two games live and then uh, hopefully I can bring you another six games before well four games and then the last two games of the season I'll bring you live as well so I'll just have to see which ones would be a good one to bring to you guys but thanks very much for watching. Please uh, leave likes, subscribe, comments. I'm always available for comments and I always answer to all my comments. And I um, appreciate everything. And let's hopefully the next videos that I bring you guys we will be still top of the log and doing much better than we just currently did. But yeah, thanks very much for now, guys. And uh, take care. Thanks for watching. Keep safe and keep playing FM.